So my name is Ryan Dutt. I'm a technical solution specialist at SSI. I'm going to talk to you about creation and detailing of marine draft reviews. So marine draft, what is it? Most of you are familiar with it, but for those of you that aren't, marine draft functionality is designed for automated operation, generation of 2D production drawings from the 3D model. The drawings are created from the combination of configurable shipyard standards, AutoCAD styles, and templates. It uses a sophisticated method of sectioning and hidden line removal and predefined blocks to generate output designed to help uh, design a 3 ship building convention. Alright, so there's four basic steps to creating marine drafting drawings. The process has been set up to save time and effort required to produce two production drawings. The four stages are creation of an output drawing, creation of a marine drafting drawing, creating views, and generating an output. The 3D model shown is an example of an output <coughs> drawing. Output drawings are used to create the marine drafting drawings and contain copies of all parts from the source models that the drawing was created or updated from. Output drawings can be updated when changes occur in the models. To make it more efficient, a single output drawing can be used to create several marine drafting drawings. Once you have an output drawing, you can create the marine drafting drawing from it. If an output drawing does not already exist, you can create one on the fly if needed. Marine drafting templates allow for the pre-configuring of settings and models in the generated drawings. The marine drafting drawing contains an XREF to the output drawing, so its size can be small and other marine drafting drawings can use the same output drawing. So creating views, uh, the settings for creating 2D views can be saved in templates for standardization. Uh, settings that can be controlled include the presentation of different cross sections, curve sections, and distributed system connection points and penetrations. The definition for what symbols to use for plate scenes, intercostal, and continuous is also defined here. Layer settings for all types of lines for visible and invisible constructions are also here. And whether you want the view to be a simplified or detailed representation is defined in these settings. The detailed view is more suitable for low scale views as it provides complete details of each part. The simplified mode is better suited to high scale views that offer more perspective as it helps consolidate geometry and reduce more. The XML import and export feature in settings will allow you to easily transfer your settings across drawings and projects. When creating a view, there are two objects created, the view control and the output coordinate system. Reference lines can also be created at desired locations. The view control uses a bounding box to determine which parts are shown in the view, which parts are sectioned in the view, a view direction, arrow to determine the direction of the view, and a section point coordinate system icon which determines the coordinate system on the view. The output coordinate system is generated output defined by the view control. Uh, there are several methods to create views in the marine drafting. Creating views automatically allows you to define multiple views at a time where the surface area exceeds a specified value. The defined views can be individually adjusted later. The marine drafting creation settings are used to set up AutoCAD settings. The settings you can find include minimum plate area for gener generating bounding boxes, the depth of bounding boxes, and the layer on which they'll be placed. Default view corrections, appearance of the 2D view names, text size, style, position, and layer, and positioning of 2D views or the distance between the views. Styles and position of reference lines in the 2D views. Creating a view from a plane allows you, the user to find a view outside of the predefined ship locations. To generate one of these views, you should set the orientation of the point through which the plane must pass. This point can be selected not only in 3D, 
but in 2D views as well. Ease of understanding of how different brand drafting views are related to each other is one of the main benefits of this type of view creation. Another benefit of this method is the ability to create a skewed view. If creating a skewed view, you'll be able to, you'll be asked to pick three points instead of one. A faster alternative to creating a view from a plane is the ability to create a view from an object. Because Shift Instructor and AutoCAD have many objects, have many objects coming with internal plane definitions encoded inside them, this feature leverages that to use the information which is already available to create the view. The object can be a Shift Instructor part or an AutoCAD polygon. When you need to create a view with a, a predefined frame, waterline or longitudinal, this method allows you to do it quickly and effectively. Using the location selector dialog, you just select the location to which to display and the views are ready. When you need complete control of view creation, creating a view from the bounding box is the choice to make. This will walk you through all the steps in the process. And we have a So these features have become available as of 2018 R2.1. So the auto create example, which is the one that everybody's been used to. Um, you can now adjust the bounding box from within the properties of the properties tab of the bounding box, which is a new feature, allowing greater control over <coughs> So the create from plane, like I said, you can just pick a point and it will pick a point on a plane and it will create your view for you. So detailing views. One of the biggest benefits of marine drafting is that all objects in the view are related to the model. So views can be easily updated when changing the current model. Dimensions can also be added as needed in either paper space or model space. So here we have a marine drafting drawing. Sir. 
circles, etc. So standard AutoCAD. Uh, so standard auto, native AutoCAD uh, formats. So we also have powerful reference lines, which allow you to indicate chip locations. These ease of modification and trust and accuracy. So the reference locations will increase or decrease based on putting them there. You can put any spacing on that. Um, symbol blocks are inserted for weld scenes and for intercostal and uh, continuous plating. And of course, your stiff air ambulance are shown as well. The user can modify the selected symbols as desired. Just using like a standard uh, block editor. Parts can be changed, views can be easily updated. 
For example, adding cut to existing parts or changing the material um, will find the sample somewhere. In the SSI solution to reduce the amount of rework requirement changes to occur. 